I'm Davina from Rocks Galore Limited. Welcome to my channel. This series is about fake, real and scam and it's all about minerals and gemstones. Today's episode is about pearls. We have used pearls in our history for adornment and jewellery for quite a long time. Now pearls are a natural organic material produced by mollusks. These mollusks are made up of calcium carbonate and the two main minerals this is made up of is aragonite and calcite. Now the very first thing that we always think about as pearls are natural pearls. Natural pearls are formed with no human interference whatsoever. So how do pearls form? They form when an injury happens to the mollusk's shell, so an attack by a parasite or a fish. The injury and healing processes produces a pearl sac or cyst. Afterwards, the brick-like layers of microscopic aragonite platelets are secreted. These form the layers of nacre. This secretion, nacre, is the same material which is what lines the inside of the shell, which makes up the shell. So over time, it puts layer and layer and layer of this nacre over the damaged area, which can form a natural pearl. Now, cultured pearls are going to different, two different types. We have got marine, salt water, and we've got freshwater pearls. So with salt water pearls, the coloration of the three main types, we have acoya pearls, which are of white, slightly to cream, with pink and peach tones, which are about six millimeters in size. We have Tahitian pearls, which are black with tones of peacock, like green or blue, very mild overtones to them. They can get grey as well. They are 10 to 12 millimetres in size. South Sea pearls are very similar to the Tahitian pearls, but they are golden in colour to cream and white. With saltwater pearls, you can only really produce one pearl at a time in one oyster. A mother of pearl bead is inserted into a live oyster, it's like a surgery operation in a certain area within the oyster. You also have to transplant a sacrificial part mantle from a previous oyster in with it to kind of start the process of forming the pearl. Freshwater pearls are produced within mussels, not oysters, and they are also in freshwater. Now most freshwater pearl farms are a man-made lake so they can control the environment the freshwater mussels can be implanted with just a mantle tissue or a bead can be added with this which are different shapes and sizes. These can produce up to 30 pearls in one mussel. Freshwater pearls can be produced in any size and shape. The colours range from white, pink, orange, yellow, lavender and grey. So we're going to go on to a little bit about what generic treatments they can do within pearls. So when you've got your cultured pearls, natural colours are very subtle, but you see quite a few, especially freshwater pearls, dyed and treated to make them brighter colours. These have been induced by dipping the pearls into a solution. Even the browns, which are marketed as chocolate pearls, these are also treated to make that colour. Another type of common treatment that happens with even natural two cultured pearls is bleaching to lighten the colour or even the colour tone over the entirety of the pearl. If this procedure is not done correctly, you can get severe damage on the nacre layers. So let's move on to fake pearls. So with imitation pearls, the majority that you see are just mother of pearl beads that might have been dyed to different colours. They might be pieces of glass or pieces of plastic. With some glass beads, they will coat this with a lacquer that has what's known as fish scales within it to create a kind of shine. Another type of imitation pearl is what is known as the Majorcan pearls. If anybody's been to Majorca, they've probably gone around the factory to see the pearls. They have not been near any oysters or mussels it is purely a glass bead that gets dipped into a formula which is a lacquer again with fish scales and mother of crushed mother of pearl 
They then dry it and then they do it again and they repeat. And this, this process can take about 30 times so they get a layer upon layer like on the glass bead. The bit that everybody is waiting for, what's the scam about pearls? Has anybody seen online pearl parties? Now when I first heard about this I was quite intrigued so I watched quite a few of these pearl parties to see what was going on. And some of the things that were said had me quite concerned. So as a bit of a gamble, I actually brought some of these oysters to open on camera with you. So with these pearl parties, they charge the audience, if you want to open a actual oyster shell, £15 to about £30 depending on the company. So each oyster they open on camera, the pearl inside is yours and they always kind of state a value of that pearl saying, oh, it's worth about £50. But in reality, what you're getting is a freshwater low grade pearl that has been inserted into a already dead and decaying Akoya oyster, which is no worth no more than a pound. With these pearl parties, they not only produce this pearl for you that you've paid for, they also kind of implement an add-on with what type of jewellery setting you want it in. And generally the quality that you receive, it's not true silver, it's a silver plate or it's bad craftsmanship and it's really not worth the amount that you paid. And a few people have actually took their pieces of jewellery after purchasing to a reputable jewellers and got quoted a far less price than what they expected. I'll put the gloves on for this. They do smell. Opening this up. So just ripping it. Tell you the smell is quite bad. So it kind of is a mix to a little bit of a whiff of rotting seafood with a very, very strong chemical smell. Look how bendy the shell is. I can literally just break it and it's kind of just crumbling away. Oop, let's grab that. Try and open. Oh, I, don't, I don't even need to use the, so I can just do that. I don't even need to use a knife. Just pull that out. Excuse my face but the, the smell is quite bad. Ugh. All right, ready? Just broken that off. You see the inside of the shell? They're like the natural colours that a pearl would be from this type of oyster. Those kind of hues. So, trying to find... Actually I can't find it, where is it? Ah, got it. Can you see it? Oh look, we've got a bright blue one. Out of this one, we've got a bright blue, meant to be a coir pearl. The chemicals are starting to attack the colouring of the side of the pearl. The one that I showed you first was an acquire oyster. These are, I don't know which species they are, but they are definitely a mussel. So these are from fresh water, which have been implanted with a freshwater pearl, but they were sold as an entire batch as acquire oysters. The overall scan is you're being missold a product. You believe you're getting an acquire saltwater pearl, but instead you're getting a low grade and sometimes dyed freshwater pearl. Saltwater pearls are a higher value in price compared to the freshwater pearls. If you enjoy watching these pearl parties and joining in with the conversation, then that is fine, as long as you know that it is a game and purely for entertainment. Please be aware that you are not making an investment and they are not value for money. The pearls are normally damaged due to the oysters being preserved with strong and sometimes dangerous chemicals.
thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode about pearls. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Comment below what you want to see next on this series of fake, real and scam. Goodbye for now.